just learned that those with no symptoms can spread the coronavirus. Today, he called that a revelation. With us tonight, Dr. Robert Gallo, director and co-founder of the Institute of Human Virology at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. He's the co-founder of the Global Virus Network. He himself has discovered five human viruses, most notably one of the distinguished scientists who discovered HIV as the root illness behind AIDS. Uh, doctor, you'll forgive me for um, making sure we repeat. We have no idea how many people have coronavirus in our country presently and are so far behind the testing eight ball we are likely never to know uh but having said that um what do you make of how the fight is going thus far well certainly the point you just made about not knowing the number of infections as well as you would want to know is a problem and i think that is um a problem that needs to be rectified as soon as possible. People are working on it. Dr. Redfield, Bob Redfield, who you just uh, quoted, um, I used to work with him. He, I'm the director of the Institute, he, but we co-founded the Institute of Human Virology at the School of Medicine, University of Maryland in Baltimore, 22 years ago uh, together. He came out of the Walter Reed, now the Army, I came out of NIH, Cancer Institute. So uh, we made the blood test for HIV. I know what it takes to make a blood test. I think they're, uh, I don't want to be a critical of anyone. I wasn't in their shoes, but it was evident from China, you know, before 2020. Um, and by the way, it's important to follow in a pandemic, to be connected and linked to other nations. I mean, a pandemic means all. And there was a Chinese scientist who predicted a coronavirus respiratory epidemic coming from bats over a year ago. Uh, that would come in the following year, actually predicted it in a scientific publication. If we knew the, the seriousness of the disease in China, if we had close connections to China, um, you could count on their science getting better and better. It's, it, it, it's extremely good right now. Then uh, you know the thing is really spreading uh, and it was coming. So diagnostics are key and an antibody test is important. Yes, the test for the virus itself, the RNA test that we're doing now is, of course, important. But this is not like HIV. It doesn't stay around in your blood. So you're going to become test negative. But what will become positive are antibodies. We do need an antibody test. I've heard that uh, some don't think it's as so important, but I think it's actually vital. And it is also useful to know if certain antibodies that we make will protect against a reinfection, whether they're, it's of value. But certainly for diagnostics, we need the, the much more testing going on. We need to know the reality of how many people are infected by wide-scale testing. So I'm, uh, I'm absolutely um, firm about a strong need for much more diagnostic testing. And we could get help when we don't have the tests. Uh, I, you said, I. I'm involved with the Global Virus Network. It's something I think is desperately needed by the world. We have 53 centers in 33 countries of high, high quality virologists connected. I don't think anybody would, di would disagree with this. And we learn from each other by weekly calls, not just within the United States. I learned a lot from things in the other countries that were experiencing this epidemic. For example, in collaborative studies with Italian scientists, we know there's major mutations in the mechanism that this coronavirus uses to reproduce itself, to copy itself. It's an RNA virus. They mutate, like HIV, like polio, like influenza. They're all RNA but containing viruses. They tend to mutate a lot. We know in Italy that there's been mutations of the very mechanism, the protein, the mechanism by which it copies itself, it reproduces itself. And much more mutation has occurred in the, in the virus in Italy compared to what we saw in China. And I can tell you we're seeing even further mutations in the United States, the virus is isolated here. We have the most in the world right now of isolates that have been examined and sequences that are in the database show that we're having viruses mutate a lot. Now, does that mean that they're causing greater lethality, greater mortality? Well, we can't say that, no, the correlation hasn't been done yet, but it could mean greater resistance to this or that drug. Uh, let me, maybe I carried that one maybe a little long. 
Uh, that's all right, Dr. Gallo. Uh, what we're going to do is say, um, please come back on with a similar update. Uh, that covered everything I was actually going to ask. And to Dr. Robert Gallo uh, and all yes, your past experience uh, in one person. Sure, sure. Go ahead. Okay, because I think this will be important. I think within the Global Virus Network right now, and we'll be coming out with this more publicly very soon, um, in a in a report that Dr. Kum, uh, Kumikov, uh, Chumikov, pardon me, uh, at the FDA virologist, we think there is something that could really help right now with a vaccine that is a not specific vaccine for this virus, but it's available now that will have it could very well have, and I believe will, a major effect for the world. And you'll hear about this very soon, perhaps the next time we talk. Okay, you'll. You'll please let us know. We'll talk about it next time you come on. Thank you for ending on that hopeful note, Dr. Robert Gallo. Coming up, hundreds of millions of Americans are now told to stay home.